Curiosity looks out on a beautiful Martian vista every morning. And even though we can't see the same sights in person, there's an alternative. NASA has just released a gorgeously detailed mosaic of the Martian landscape. How detailed? 1.3 billion pixels worth. I'm Sophie, and welcome to The Countdown. Back in 2012, Curiosity parked itself in a location named Rock Nest. While it was there, the rover did some multitasking. It both scooped up and analyzed soil samples and snapped 900 photographs, primarily with its telephoto camera. Then NASA combined those images into this massive gigapan mosaic. If you want to see how intricate the mosaic really is, mars.nasa.gov has an interactive version that lets you zoom in on the red planet. In the meantime, let's take a look around. Sports enthusiasts travel all over the world to surf, ski, and snowboard in the most extreme locations. Too bad they can't make their way to other planets. They might enjoy skimming down the sides of Martian dunes on hoverboards made of dry ice. About 10 years ago, researchers first saw long, thin channels, up to two kilometers long, etched into dunes on Mars. Just what was carving these so-called linear gullies? The scientists guessed that the culprit might be dry ice, and now experiments show they're on the right track. When frozen carbon dioxide, better known as dry ice, warms up, it begins transforming into gas rather than melting into liquid. The gas forms a cushion beneath the remaining solid, allowing the dry ice to glide easily over various surfaces. Researchers placed blocks of dry ice on dunes here on Earth, and the blocks slid smoothly down the slopes, leaving behind linear gullies very similar to those on Mars. Now, if only we could make dry ice hoverboards that would support humans. This week, NASA Solar Observatory IRIS, short for Interface Region Imaging Spectrograph, launched into Earth's orbit. Despite doctors' warnings, IRIS will look directly into the sun. Specifically, the observatory will focus on the chromosphere, the layer between the surface and the corona, or outer atmosphere. The chromosphere is at the center of a solar mystery. The sun's core is a massive heat source powered by fusion reactions. As energy travels outward from the sun's core towards the surface, the temperature also cools down. So far, so simple. But when you hit the chromosphere, the temperature suddenly starts to heat up again. By the time you reach the corona, the atmosphere is at its hottest point. To illuminate the mystery of how the chromosphere brings the heat, Iris will closely image a small region of this layer. The telescope is so sensitive, it should be able to pick out objects only 240 kilometers wide. Not bad, considering the sun's total surface area is greater than 6 trillion square kilometers. A black hole's gravity is so strong that matter falls in like water pouring down a cosmic drain. So you'd expect to see that matter form a ring, just as water forms a whirlpool. But reality doesn't always match expectations. A new image from the European Southern Observatory shows there's a twist to our view of black holes. Researchers used the Very Large Telescope Interferometer to observe the supermassive black hole at the heart of galaxy NGC 3783. They expected to see a donut-shaped loop of hot dust around the object, and they did, but they also found some dust above and below the ring. As the black hole consumes the hot dust donut, it releases radiation in the form of a cool wind that actually pushes away some of the dust. The new finding may force scientists to revamp the picture of how black holes grow. Earthbound adventurers can pore over maps of our world, but if you've got your head in the clouds, you may want to check out an atlas that shows the location of galaxies. And now it's easier than ever to go on a virtual journey through the cosmos, thanks to a new video called Cosmography of the Local Universe. A team of researchers measured the density of both visible and dark matter in the neighborhood of the Milky Way. This revealed the locations and movement of galaxies up to 300 million light years away from our own. By mapping galactic motion, we can learn more about both dark matter and dark energy. You can start planning your next galactic vacation at the website for the Institute of Research into the Fundamental Laws of the Universe. And that's your countdown. Links to all of these stories are in the description below. Also, don't forget to visit the Space Lab channel on YouTube and subscribe. For Scientific American, I'm Sophie Bushwick, and this summer, I'll be making my own solar observations.